Hello, beautiful one. Join me as I take you through solving this beautiful exponential equation step by step. It's just so easy. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin this with solution. Now you have to be careful. This sign is addition. It's not multiplication. Okay. So in that case, what we need to do is since they are both repeated, we can choose to factor one out. So this is what we have is equal to 48. Now, because they are repeated, we just factor out. So we have 9 to the power of x, open a bracket. Use this to divide this, it gives you 1 plus. Use this to divide this, it gives you 1 is equal to 48. Now, what do you do next? 9 to the power of x, add this, it gives you 2 is equal to 48. Now, you know too well that this is the same as 9 to the power of x multiplied by 2 is equal to 48. Your target is on x. So because of that, you are going to remove these two. And because it's multiplying, you divide. So to get x, we are going to divide both sides by these two. So if you do that, we have 9 to the power of x multiplied by 2 divided by 2 is equal to 48 divided by 2. Interesting. Now this is going to give us, this will take off. And when it does, is 1. And this times 1 gives you back the same number. Did you see? So it's going to give us, divide this, it gives you 24. Now what do you do? Just take logarithm of both sides. And that is giving us log of 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 24. Now remember, for every log of a to the power of x, it is x log a. This is going to guide us through the left part. In that case, we are going to have this we multiply. So we have x log 9 is equal to log of 24. Now to get x, clear this, you divide by log 9, divide this by log 9. And this takes of this, we are going to have, for you to have the watch through this point, it shows what you are doing interesting. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hit that subscription button. If you are still new to this channel, we have a lot to give to you. Share with your friends and let us know how you feel about this class. You can also ask questions. I'll be there with you in the comments. Thank you. And let's continue to have. So this gives us X is equal to log of 24 divided by log of 9. Now, what do you think we should do? Should we leave it at this point? No, we have to simplify this answer. And to simplify it, we know too well that 24 is the same as 2 multiplied by 12. And 12 is 2 multiplied by 6. 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. Now, it means that 24 is the same as. So this is the same as log of 2 is 3 times. So we have 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 3. Okay. This will give us 24 divided 9, as you know, is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. So it's going to give us log of 3 squared. Simplifying, we have. Now, remember also that for every log of A multiplied by B, it is log of A plus log of B. This is going to help us in simplifying. It gives us X is equal to log of 2 to the power of 3. This will now turn to addition. Did you see? So we have log of 3 and it's divided by log of 3 raised to the power of 2. Also remember we said earlier that if you have log of ax to the power of x, it is x log a. Okay, so this power multiplies the log. So it's going to give us x is equal to 3 log 2 plus log of 3 divided by this power multiplies. So we have 2 log 3. Now keep simplifying this. We are going to have x is equal to this can divide each of the numerators. So we have 3 log 2 divided by 2 log 3 plus 
log 3 divided by 2 log 3. Now, to simplify this, it gives us x is equal to, you see that we can reduce it, there's nothing to cancel out. So we have 3 divided by 2 log 2 divided by log 3 plus these two are the same, so they can divide itself. This is 1, this is 1. So here we're going to have 1 divided 2 times 1 will give us 2. Now remember that for every log of A divided by log of B, it is log of A base B. We are going to apply this rule on this to have finally. So this gives us X is equal to 3 divided by 2. For this, using this, we are going to have log of 2 base 3, then plus half. This gives us the value of x. You can also write it in this form. x is equal to 3 log 2 base 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Either of these two are correct. Now we're going to do a little check. We're going to plug this value of x at the left side to see if it gives us 48. And that is the interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this check together. To do that, we have to verify. You see that these two are the same. So we're going to get work with one. When we are done, we return this, okay? Let's go with the first one. And to do that, we have nine to the power. This is our x. We have three on two log two to the power of three plus half. Now you remember that, remember these are powers of this nine. Remember that if you have a to the power of n plus n, it is a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of n. So we're going to split it, apply this on this to now have nine to the power of three on two log two base three. This addition sign turns to multiplication, then nine to the power of half. Now you keep simplifying this. Remember that nine is the same as three, three times three, which will give us three squared. So it's going to give us three squared raised to power of three on two log two base three is multiplied by the same thing here. We have three squared raised to power of half. Now, what do you do next? Remember, if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is a to the power of m n. Okay, the powers multiply. So this is two over one. You multiply the power. This we take off this. We are left with three. So it's going to give us. This gives us three to the power of three log two base three is multiplied by. This is over one. So we have. 3 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 3. Now remember that the, the coefficient of the log is always the power of that log. So we're going to return this to now have 3 to the power of log of 2 power 3 base 3 multiplied by 3. At this point, remember this rule that for every a to the power of log of b base a, this base and this are the same. It's always equal to this number B. Okay, we are going to apply it here. You see that these two are the same. So it's going to give us 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 multiplied 3 times to give us 8. And 8 multiplied by 3 will give us 24. So you see that for working on this, we got 24. So for these two... For 9x plus 9 to the power of x, it's going to give us 24 add 24. And when you add these two, it gives 48. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. So it means that x, which is equal to 3 on 2 log 2 base 3 plus half, is absolutely correct. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. And if you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. And let us know how you feel or your own 
method of solving this in the comments. You can also ask questions. I'll be there with you. Thank you for watching. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.